welcome to a new vlog. Today we did our um, walkthrough for the house because our signing is next week, guys. Less than seven days away from closing on this house and getting the keys. So I just wanted to walk through with you guys so that you guys could see the updates. I don't remember when I last updated you guys, so I just want to update you guys on everything because I know that you guys like to see the house update. If you don't, you can fast forward. Um, but today, right now, we're going to give you guys a house update. So as you walk in, as you see the left garage, right garage, that'll be the right car garage for Chris's cars and everything. And the left garage will be my gym at slash warehouse area for no evil. So the game plan is to have half of it be for no evil, half of it be my gym set up so I can record really cool content for you ladies, workouts, and I can also get my morning workouts in as well. Now we're walking through, the doors are painted black. Here we'll probably put some like greenery and stuff. This is just like a little sitting area. I don't know what I'm gonna do too much with it here, but we'll add some stuff. So we'll walk in. You trip. <laughs> um, I'm thinking of put, about putting a little table here. Um, I still haven't measured the distance there yet though. And then the stairs are right here to my right when you walk in. And then to our left, you have our study. I'm excited to finally have a study and an area where we can work. Chris and I actually have the desk that I like. I finally found some administration. They're in stock, so we're gonna order them when we get the house. Um, but Chris, what I'm thinking is Chris's desk here because you can have the straight wire to a game here and then I will probably be on this side kind of like stacked. If you guys have any recommendations, of course, drop them below. And then we have the guest bedroom here um, on the right side. I'm not gonna show you, it's literally just its own bathroom and closet. Pretty cool. Um, and then here I plan on having a huge mirror here. I have a mirror guy coming and I just want all my guests to be able to take great selfies when they walk through my house. And then we walk through, we've got the kitchen here. I think you guys saw most of it. Um, I know I've been getting a lot of DMs as far as the name of this. I don't know, guys. They showed me different samples, and I just picked one. Um, if I, if you guys are really, really interested, and you're like really building a home and you need it, um, I can talk to um, the lady who helped us out at the design center, and I'm sure she'd be able to give it to me. So just really let me know if it's something you're actually serious about. Um, then as always, as as you've seen, it's black everywhere else. Um, the fridge is pretty cool. We went through the design center too, and it got the fridge through them. Um, it has water here, actually has hot water as well, and then both pretty pretty big fridge here, and then the freezer here. Um, one of my favorite things about the fridge besides the handles and this is this little cold right here. I think it's kind of cute. Um, but yeah, this is the kitchen, guys, where I'll spend a lot of time in, actually. Um, and then this is our dining room area, and then our living room area with our black fireplace here what do you guys think let me know in the comments what you guys think i was actually honestly thinking making um, the backsplash bag come in and put some like tile work here but i don't know i kind of like the simplicity of the black let me know what you guys think should i add some tile here should i not um and then the fireplace turns on as well um but yeah this is the living room we actually ordered another piece to our sectional from Ashley's Furniture. So our current couch is beautiful, I love it. That's one of the reasons I got it. Um, it's from Ashley, it's called Savesto, S-A-V-E-S-T-O, Savesto. Um, it's a beautiful couch. They're on back order a little bit, but we ordered another section to make this part or this part uh, a little longer, whichever we decide to go. Um, obviously, we love the restoration furniture. Um, the couches are amazing, but our budget right now just does not allow that, especially with us just having the couch for two years. I want to use more out of it. So, um, and it looks, honestly, it looks very, really similar to the restoration. So we're going to keep the couch and just get other furniture. We have the dining room and the chairs already lined up. They're in order and they should be here end of July, early August. Um, and then you walk in here and then I'm sure you guys have seen the bedroom, master bedroom. So our furniture gets delivered through mid-May. So we got the bed, the, the two dressers on the side. Um, we got this little table here. We have a little section that pulls out. The TV is gonna be up here. And then I got like vases and stuff to go, curtains and stuff. Those are gonna be ordering as I get everything in. Um, but yeah, for the most part, the master is picked out. Um, and then you go into the master bath. I'm sure you guys have seen it on my stories. It's black marble. Um, I'm pretty excited about Chris having his own little private 
toilet here, just turns on the fan, closes this door so we don't smell nothing. Um, and then this is his and hers vanity. This one is mine because I got an extra outlet here for my charger, for my hair uh, straightener, and my curler because I use them all three at the same time. And then, of course, we got the master tub here inserted, and then his and her, um, what are these called? Shower heads. Shower heads. Um, he likes to shower with cold. I like to shower with hot, but we like to shower at the same time. So this was like a big plus um, that we wanted. It, it was extra, obviously, um, a little bit more than we, we thought, but we, we wanted it. I knew going into a home, this was like a must into the house, getting a separate shower head, so it's pretty cool. We're gonna rock, paper, scissors. Who gets this side because of the entry here, but it'll be fine. And then we have the closet. Um, I had a guy come in on Friday last week and we talked about designing it. I just haven't heard anything back. So um, it's gonna take about two to three weeks for them to come in and do the closet but i'm excited because i need a lot more drawers because in the master uh, bedroom we don't have enough space to put um a big like vanity or like have a lot more drawers so i want more drawers in the closet space and then if you walk through you don't want to walk through with your shoes right mm -hmm. um it's just it's just a uh laundry room guys it's just the washer dryer we actually purchased those yesterday um that out of everything we purchased probably hurt the most because you kind of feel like an adult you're like Damn, I just spent like close to three grand on a washing and dryer. But obviously you need a washer and dryer and they're really nice and hopefully something we keep obviously for a really long time. So, all right, let's keep going. So I'm sure you guys remember Kian. He's the one that was helping us with the apartment. Um, I'm gonna put all his stuff below so that you guys can contact him. He's here in Houston. You do all of Houston, Yeah, right? all of Houston, yeah, yeah. So he's the best. He's helped us so much. There's so many things that- we take everywhere. It is him. <laughs> Making sure that we get our money's worth, which is what I appreciate uh, appreciate I about him the most. I but he's helped us so much, guys. There's so many things when you buy a home and you're a first time home buyer that you have no idea about. So it's great to have someone that you can trust helping you out. So thank you, Keanu. It's a pleasure it. helping you guys. I'm so happy for you guys. Thank you. But anyways, I'll put his stuff below. <sighs> okay, guys. So up here, it's going to be carpet. But for the most part, the pups will not be coming up here. They're terrified of stairs that they've never gone up before. So we're gonna make sure they keep staying that way and they stay terrified so they don't come up here. Cause that way the carpet can stay fresh and clean. And even though you clean the carpet, even if you have pets, it kind of gets set. So and if you have Frenchies, you know they like to put their face and boogers everywhere. But when you walk up here, you have this big empty space. This could be a game room, it could be an actual living room. Um, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is have like a photography room here, so I'll set up here and be able to take pictures with natural light, which I'm really excited about. And then um, here you have the extra attic storage space here. Chris will be having to go up there when he needs to fix something. I'm not doing that. Um, and then we have two additional closets here, which have pretty pretty good amount of room. When I talk as fast as I do, I get all these like air bubbles in my chest. <laughs> Then up here you have the uh, bathroom. It's a full bathroom shower and everything for the guest bedroom to your left. And if you're up here and you need to use the restroom, you have easy access to the restroom. And then Chris will walk you guys through just the bedroom up here. This one doesn't have the restroom like I mentioned, um, but the one outside is purposed for anyone staying here. So this is the third guest bedroom. This one has its own bathroom in here, um, but all the guest bathrooms are the same if you want to take a look. They're gray um, tile all off in the floor to the backsplash. Um, we're going to change these out once we move. Everything will be changed out slowly. We want to do black on that, black here, and then this countertop has like some like little gray swirls just to give the bathroom a little extra. Hmm. But yeah, everything else will be changed black. This will be changed black, just to tie it in all together. If you guys can see, they're still building so many homes. So we're gonna be, our, we don't really have neighbors yet. The, the lot next door is taken. We don't have anybody next to us. Um, the lot next door has been sold or has, been sold, been has not been sold. So when we move in, we're gonna be woken up early in the morning when somebody does decide to buy it. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, they're building pretty fast here. What do you guys think about the stairs? 
So we stained them this color. I actually fell in love with it. I thought it was going to be originally a little lighter, but I actually really fell in love with how it turned out. Obviously, wood changes. Um, Chris is thinking about in the future painting it black. What do you guys think? I actually really like this. So let me know in the description um, if we should just keep it or paint it black. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm going to uh, finish, not to close the vlog, but finish this up. Um, we're going to finish talking to Kian for a little bit, and then we'll bring you along for breakfast because it's, well, breakfast and lunch because it's, yeah. it's pretty late. Um, so we'll catch you guys up in a little bit. This is Chris after he's had lunch. I'm dead. I he's need a nap. Tired. He need a nap. Where are we at, baby? Nothing but cakes. Because the girl wanted a little bit of sweets. So we're at nothing but cakes. I haven't had a bunt cake since like my birthday. No. Of like 2019. I haven't had a bunt cake in a really long time. And I want one. So we're really Panera. We had lunch at Panera and it's close by. So we're gonna get one. I think I'm gonna get uh, one of each. Lemon, sprinkles, confetti, chocolate. They're all so good. The green light, right? Good morning, guys. So, I left you guys yesterday in the car after my bunt cake. Um, we came home. I had the worst headache. Chris and I passed out for like three hours. We woke up, literally just worked a little bit on the on the computer, and then I just chilled, had some Zaxby's, finished our bunt cake, and that was it. That was literally it. So I didn't record because I really had nothing to record. So I'm gonna try recording today. There's nothing really planned today. I'm trying to kind of get ready and maybe maybe make like a TikTok or something but um i already worked out this morning we're about to go get breakfast um i'm gonna go get a juice i kind of feel like my after zaxby's yesterday i need a little cleanse um i only ate twice yesterday i only ate panera and zaxby's and that was it so my eating habits even though i'm like trying to get better because we're going on vacation in june have not been the best but it's okay not to be perfect and i'm gonna get, get a juice today be better today um but i will i wanted to say first before we keep going on into the vlog okay so before we move on forward i did want to say that this video is sponsored by dossier um if you guys watch my latest video um you not my recent one but two videos ago i mentioned them they sent me a care package um dossier is a perfume brand guys so they sent out different um little perfumes that kind of represent um any of the higher end perfumes it comes with a little note that tells you like what it's inspired by the concentration how it works what the notes are so this one is um i picked out three new three new flavors three new scents the aromatic pineapple the floral pear and the floriental coconut and my two favorites were the aromatic pineapple and the coconut i'm not a floral person i tried it don't really like it but it's pretty cool i love dust here i'll show you guys um so here like i said it says on the little card what their notes are what it's inspired by the concentration so it's pretty cool um it's definitely way better price than getting a perfume and not knowing what it smells like so highly recommend that you guys try them out and it comes with a little little sample thing like this too so you guys can try it too so yeah guys just wanted to kind of bring this up um, thank you, Dossier, for sponsoring this video. The link of them will be in the description, so make sure you guys check them out. Also, guys, it is when Friday. We move next week, and I have two boxes packed. That's about it. This guy needs to help me because he hasn't. I'm just going to put everything in trash bags. I know you are. He's, he's that person. He's literally going to just put everything in trash bags and think that that's organized, but it's not. Um, oh, as you guys can tell, I have my faja on my waist trainer. I've been wearing my waist trainer a lot more recently, um, just because I've been wanting to. This one is from Squeeze Me Skinny. I have a code, code Jazzy. If you guys want to try them out, um, please do not leave any hateful comments of waist training down below. It's your choice. If you want to waist train, if you don't want to waist train, that's on you too. But I'm doing it. I um, just wanted to share that outfit is awfully. These soft butter tops are amazing. Like they're just, they feel amazing on your skin. And then I absolutely love these shorts. They're not everyone's favorites, but I like them. I like that I feel kind of like easy breezy, not too tight. They're wrinkly as hell right now, but it's okay. We're just gonna go get some juice and some breakfast. So let's go. This is my favorite. You're gonna get it. Uh, 
Okay guys, so I got this apple, lemon, ginger, cinnamon one. I love it, it's my absolute favorite. It doesn't have, you know, the greens benefits of it, but I just feel like the lemon and the ginger in the morning help me and then the cinnamon as well. Um, the apple's just like there for taste. It literally tastes like apple juice with cinnamon. It's really, really good. So um, we come and get juices maybe once or twice a week. Uh, Chris is drinking this one. This one has a really good amount of um, health benefits because of the beet. The beet's good for your liver. Um, it has like a liver cleanse in here. And then the ginger and lemon is also good for your digestion so he drinks this one this one doesn't taste as bad right Bobby or does it, it they all taste like dirt <laughs> they all taste like this one because of the bee it tastes like dirt but yeah now we're gonna be go get like breakfast because I have no idea what we're gonna eat just got home to some packages oh he's opening this ghost one for me Let's see what we got wait I don't even know if the controller came hold on oh yeah that's that was a shaker cup that dropped yesterday so this one dropped on the ghost website yesterday and then i just got some more, more ghost energy here i'm putting some in the fridge and some i'm just gonna leave in the box because we are moving um so i bit like in like five days so i just don't want to put them all in the fridge because i don't want to finish them all and then we picked up some egg whites and some croissants here croissants, croissants. some crescents <laughs> croissants Okay guys, so it is Sunday night, currently 10.02 p.m. Excuse the mess behind the background. My vacuum is literally right here charging. I don't know if I mentioned it, but this is the best vacuum ever, the Dyson. I think I did mention it on YouTube. Anyways, there's a mess in the background because I've been packing because Chris and I obviously sat in our house in like four days. So I've already started packing a bunch of stuff. I like, I'm not a last minute person. I like to pack ahead of time. If I'm traveling somewhere, I pack like two days in advance. Like. I'm that person, I guess it's a Virgo in me, but I wanted to sit down and close a vlog um, with my birth control talk because I have been promising you guys on IG that I was going to talk about my birth control experience recently and just, um, and I haven't. So I do want to talk about that. So I'm going to make it as short as possible without cutting too, too much. So as uh, many of you guys know if you follow me on ig you guys probably know that i have endometriosis um if you don't know what that is it's where the uh uter uterine lining grows outside of the uterus um or it can grow outside of the uterus or outside of the ovaries um and it's just like that that um i can't think of the word right now but it's like um the extra layer instead of growing on the inside is growing on the outside and it can cause a lot of pain and discomfort during your periods it can also cause you to not be able to get pregnant and things like that so um I, my mom had it it is hereditary so it is genetic if your mom has it more than likely um you will end up having it um there are no tests really that can be done except for actually doing surgery um and um basically just based on the symptoms that you have and if your family member has it that's how they kind of diagnose you with it so i've been diagnosed with it because of my inconsistent um cramping more than anything um you know just cramping every time and any day of the month basically um i'll be good at one hour and then the next hour i'll be like in, in excruciating pain um so my endometriosis has gotten a little bit worse throughout the years as i've gotten older during prep, I feel like it was the only time that it was kind of controlled, um, but it's gotten even worse now after prep. And that's due mostly, I think, to my estrogen levels, just higher estrogen levels have really an, um, formed like an imbalance in my hormones, obviously. But anyways, so that's what I have, right? So I haven't been on birth control in years. I got on the pill when I was younger, I hated it. I got on it for like a week. And then I did the Nuva ring, um, I hated that. That was the worst thing ever. I was always itchy. Um, so I took that out and that was like literally like eight years ago. So um, then I got off birth control for a really long time. And then about three years ago, I decided to do the Kylina. I do have a video on that. Um, worst pain ever i went through an excruciating time and then during that time my periods were always like just everywhere um after having it for like four or five months i was like screw this i'm going to take it out so i got it taken out worst pain ever um i literally lost like eight pounds in like three days after taking it out so obviously it was making me hold a lot of water weight um birth control typically does that that was the last time that i was on birth control which was three years ago well, um, with my endometriosis getting so bad recently, I decided to um, contact an endometriosis specialist here in Houston. 
um, her job is to really focus on women who have endometriosis. So I have, and I have um, a mutual friend from here who actually had surgery from her and also has endometriosis. So I was like, you know what? Let me give this lady a try. Let me go to her, see if she can help me out because recently it's been affecting my spin classes and just my everyday life. Like my consistency of life is just, sometimes it's a lot harder because of this, right? Some days I feel great. Some days I wake up like I look like I'm eight months pregnant and it does get me down, especially with my career. You know, I have to be able to work out all the time. I have to feel good. I have to be able to take selfies and pictures and stuff like that. And it can really just put a strain on my everyday life. So, um, like I said, it's, it has gotten a little worse. So I was like, I'm going to go see a doctor. So I made an appointment with her. The first thing I told her was like, hey, I don't, I have endometriosis. I don't want to be per, put on birth control though. And she was like, well, you know, endometriosis can even get worse because your um, hormone levels are out of whack. Um, you cramp because someday your hormone, your estrogen may be really high and some days it may be really low. So what we need to do is get you on birth control to control those levels. And I was like, damn. Okay, what else? And she was explaining it to me. She's like, um, there is no cure for endometriosis, which I already knew. Um, but she was like, um, I was hoping that, you know, surgery was an option, but she said that surgery is one of the last things they tend to do. And only if it's like extremely, extremely bad, they do surgery. Um, and she was like, even if we do surgery, some people, we can't remove all of the lining. So, um, we don't know when it's going to come back. It's going to come back in maybe six months to a year for some people or three years for some women, but some women, it takes literally a month and it's back and surgery does nothing. So she's like, I don't want you to go through all that procedure if you're not at the worst case right now. So I said, you know, listen, I don't think my husband and I want to have kids. Um, I think a lot of you guys don't take me serious when I say Chris and I, we don't really have plans to have kids. There's days, obviously, that I am a woman that I want to, you know, have a baby. There are days where I'm like, man, I get baby fever and I think about, you know, what my life would be in a few years with a baby. And I say like 30, 33 is like what I'm thinking. Um, but it's not something that I absolutely like desire in my life. To be a mom is not something I desire. Um, but so I asked her, I was like, listen, what if we take my uterus out? She was like, Absolutely not because if we take your uterus out, um, you know, you can't have kids one and then two that doesn't you you can have the endometriosis in your ovaries. So, um, you know, there's still going to be lining outside of the ovaries. You're still going to be in a lot of pain. And then she said um, she was like, I was like, OK, what about if we take out my ovaries? She was like, absolutely not. She was like, um, if we do that, you hit menopause. Well, the uterus, you hit menopause super duper fast. So she's like, I, you, I do not want you to hit menopause at 26 years old. You get the hot and cold flashes. There was so much negative side effects for that, that she was like, absolutely not. Like, I do not want to take your ovaries or your uterus out. And at the end of the day, yeah, I understand it's my decision. Um, but if I take my uterus out, then I'm still gonna have the endometriosis in my ovaries. If I take my ovaries out, I'm still gonna have the endometriosis in my uterus. I would have to take out my whole, my ovaries and my uterus, and I don't even know if that's a thing or if I even would wanna do that. Um, I just don't think I would want the repercussions of that. So I got on birth control. That's where I'm going. That was my reason of getting on birth control so like recently right now. I think a lot of people were like, oh, maybe you guys are really just not wanting to have kids, but um, it was because of that. The other thing she did say was, um, you know, I if I want to have kids, it has to be literally in the next year or two because who knows if I'll be able to have kids in the future. But I don't think that's an option. I don't. I Chris and I at least right now are we do not have kids in our plans. If it happens, it happens. But we will see. Um, there was a little bit of like pressure there, but Chris and I just you know we spoke about it and if it's meant to happen, it'll happen. If not, then you know we're not going to stress about it. So. That's that, I got on birth control. I was on birth control for like two, three weeks. Horrible, horrible headaches, horrible nausea. I was waking up and I was just so nauseous all day. Um, the cramping, the cramps came in, came here and there, kind of, you know, went away. But the nausea and the exhaustion and the headaches were just on a whole different level. Fendi's making this with a toy. So the nausea and the, um, headaches and the fatigue were just a whole different level. I had no energy for anything. I felt kind of like depressed. I didn't feel like myself. And I, I never understood when people said that. Like, I don't 
like when they were like, oh yeah, you don't feel like yourself. I was like, how do you not feel like yourself? But you really don't. You kind of like are just kind of like there. And I was de like, I felt depressed. I felt like I had no energy. It was just really bringing me down. And every time I was working out, I was like nauseous. And I literally, you can ask my friends, I would have to end like quit my workout mid like, like leg press and run outside because I was going to throw up. And it was just like not, not a good thing. So I decided to get off of it. And obviously my hormones were whack three, literally I got off of it. And like, it's been like, three weeks I want to say and I finally feel like my hormones are balancing out again the first week was awful I was still super duper nauseous all the time the second week it was still a little better um and I was also holding a ton of water I just felt it I felt my midsection just not as tight even though I was eating better and I was like you know as a fitness influencer the last thing I want is to mess with my image I don't like and I don't mean that in a negative way I'm saying it for me like I already work so hard to look a certain way, to feel a certain way. And the last thing I wanna do is be putting something in my body and it causing me to look the opposite. If I'm working hard in spin class and my workouts and eating healthy to look good, to feel good, to feel tighter, which is what I love. And the birth control is making me feel watery and bloated. What am I doing? Like, I just don't wanna be doing that to myself. So I just, you know, I went to the doctor, I got on it. I didn't like the game plan and now all I, I have, it was just me realizing that this is just something I have to deal with. Some days I'm not gonna feel good and I just have to accept that and be okay with that and just kind of cope with it. And some days I'm gonna feel good, but at least I know that I went and I explored my options and it's just something I'm gonna have to live with. Um, I am doing more research. I am doing a lot of research on how to balance my estrogen levels. Um, naturally without anything. Um, I am taking dim. I just bought a book about different foods. I did hear uh, crucifix foods, vegetables like broccoli and cauliflower tend to bring down estrogen levels. Also flax seeds. Um, you can seed cycle, which I've been doing a little bit more research on that. And um, yeah, like taking, making sure you have a high fat diet too helps and a clean liver because liver does also help with estrogen balance. So I've been doing my research. I'm trying to do as much as I can naturally um, now and right now with the move and everything it has been hard I'm not gonna lie to just balance everything um, my focus right now is the home and getting everything to the home and I think once I'm there I can get on back with, with routine with everything with my vitamins my supplements everything but right now it's my life's been chaos um, I'm just letting my balance my body balance naturally as much as possible and I'm feeling better every day I'm feeling better and better um, as far as weight gain, I don't really, I was on it for three weeks, so I didn't notice a huge weight gain, but like I did say, I do, did feel a lot more watery. Um, the one I was on was this Haley 24F is on the top, it says, and it's North Fine Drew. Nor, North Fine Drew. Yeah. N O R E T H I N D R O N, and then N E, and then acetates. So let me see if you guys can read that. But that's the one I was on. Yeah, I took it for a week and a half, guys. Literally, not 30 weeks, a week and a half. And yeah, no, just, I'm not gonna sit here and say, take birth control, don't take birth control. I will say though, that I think that women who have been on birth control since they were 14, 15, since they started their periods, have had better results with birth control now at a later age in life than if you start birth control at a later age in life. I know so many women who have great experiences with birth control, but that's because they started it when they were 13 and 14, and they've been on it for 10 plus years, which is great, right? Their body has responded well to birth control, but if your body is not used to that, and you are 25, 26, and you're just now introducing something like this to your body, it is not going to react in the best way possible. So that is just my take. I'm just gonna do things naturally. I've always been that way. I love to do things naturally. I love to help myself. I'm one of those people with my IC, with my IBS. I do things to help myself naturally because I just cannot afford to be going to the doctor every weekend because my stomach hurts or my stomach burns or my bladder burns when they're not gonna do anything about it or put me on medication. So I just like to do my research and do things as naturally as possible. And I recommend that you ladies do that as well with other things. I'm not saying that with your hormones, but if there's something that's bothering you, if you have IBS, look at your options do what needs to be done if you have ic look at your options what supplements can you take to help you to help yourself i think a lot of the times we tend to 
be in pain, but we do nothing about it. We don't do our research. We don't even bother opening our phones and, and literally asking Google, how, what can I do for this pain naturally? There's so many things on the internet, guys. And I think sometimes we just get lazy or we expect other people to tell us what to do when you have a phone to research it. So do it. Um, but if you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. I'm more than happy to help you guys and answer any questions that you guys may have. I just wanted to share my experience with you guys because I know a lot of you ladies were wanting to know how it was for me. Um, but like I said, I'm not a doctor. I can't tell you, yes, get on birth control. Yes, get off birth control. I think that's something that you need to decide with yourself and if you're married or your significant whatever it is with your significant other um and then go forward from there but that was my experience recently um i'm gonna you know just get back on track with my life once i move and take all the supplements i will be reading more about it like i said and if um yeah once i'm more knowledgeable I sh i'll share more information with you guys um, but as right now, that's pretty much it. I hope it wasn't too long guys. Um, if you, like I said, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below and we're closing in four days. So I will catch you guys up in the next vlog, the moving day vlog. I'm so excited. I have had my recording, so be on the lookout. Um, and yeah, guys, I will see you guys later. Bye.